forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's meteorologist Eric Zarnix. Well, the good news is this evening we're seeing a whole lot of green on this map and temperatures this afternoon in some spots made it up to 40 degrees. The bad news is our temperatures are starting to fall and that is going to create some problems as we continue on through the evening. Basically, for places to the north of the Ohio River, that's where we're going to have some issues. Temperature right now in Mason, 34 degrees, 35 in Wilmington, 33 in Harrison, 35 degrees in Brookville. These are the temperatures that are going to drop down to freezing. Once you get to the south of Cincinnati in northern Kentucky, you've seen rain for much of the afternoon and evening, and you're going to continue to see those sprinkles. So, 35 degrees is the current temperature. Our humidity is only sitting at 70 percent. What happens is the rain drops from the clouds, it evaporates, and that causes our temperature to cool. That's why our temperatures are falling this evening, and that's why those locations to the north of Cincinnati, right around 34, 35, they're probably going to drop down to that freezing mark in the coming hours. You can see on Futurecast here how Springboro will be at 32 by 8 o'clock. The same for Wilmington, Mason, Hamilton, Harrison, Brookville. You're all going to be close, and those are the areas I'm really concerned about seeing some accumulating freezing rain. Now, as we head on through the overnight, most locations will warm above the freezing mark, but even by 2 o'clock in the morning, you can see how Mason, Springboro, Wilmington, Hamilton, and Oxford are right there, two degrees cooler, and you're dealing with freezing rain. That's why we're saying be careful tonight. Some of those spots, and of course, those lower lying valleys where that cold air tends to pool, that's where you're more likely to see that freezing rain. So, places like Florence, Alexandria, south of Batavia, Mount Orb, you're basically going to see a rain event. For places in the pink shading here, Harrison, Mason, Loveland, Wilmington, freezing rain temporarily changing over to rain. And then once you get far enough north, Oxford, Springboro, and Connorsville staying sleet and freezing rain for much of the night. So if you haven't done your homework yet, or teachers, you're not ready to go to school, more than likely if you're in this green or pink, you will be heading to class tomorrow. It's areas far to the north and west, like Connorsville, Oxford, and Springboro, where you still could be on the slick side tomorrow morning. So this is really just phase one, a lot of precipitation building in. Phase two is this cold front, which is going Going to change us from that rain back over to snow tomorrow afternoon. The good news with that is that portion of the system is much weaker and the precipitation is much lighter. So starting off tomorrow morning at 35 degrees in Cincinnati, colder to the north and west, but everybody will see temperatures dropping throughout the day and that's going to change our rain back over to a mix and eventually some flurries by the afternoon, which could make your evening commute home a little bit on the slick side as well. Again, especially for those untreated roadways. Here's another look at future cast. The precipitation tomorrow on the light side as we change back over to snow, basically just some flurries as that colder air seeps in. So tonight, temperatures a low of 32 and then warming to 35 by tomorrow morning in Cincinnati, colder to the north and west. Tomorrow's high will be in the morning at 35. Temperatures dropping all day, changing us back over to some light flurries by the afternoon. And the best news I have is take a look at the seven day. Once we get past Monday, we've got sunshine, warming temperatures, and hey, even some 40s by next weekend.